The Commission on Elections says the issue of the legitimacy of detained Pastor Apollo Kibuloy's political party is not enough to block his senatorial bid. According to COMELEC Chairman George Irwin Garcia, questions on the legitimacy of an aspirant's party are not included as grounds for disqualification under the Omnibus Election Code and the Local Government Code. Section 68 of the Omnibus Election Code states that a candidate may only be disqualified if found guilty of bribery of election officials, committed acts of terrorism to enhance his candidacy, and has spent in his election campaign an amount in excess of what is allowed, among other provisions. Garcia also cites Section 12 of the Code, which states that candidates will be disqualified if he or she is convicted of subversion, insurrection, rebellion, or any offense with a sentence of more than 18 months or any crime involving moral turpitude, as well as those declared as insane or incompetent. On Tuesday, October 8, Kibuloy's legal counsel, Attorney Mark Tolentino, filed Kibuloy's Certificate of Candidacy for Senator under the Workers' and Peasants' Party for the 2025 elections. However, Workers' and Peasants' Party President Sonny Matula says he did not sign any certificate of nomination and acceptance for Kibloy, adding that their party's chairman, Ariel Arias, does not also know about signing a CONA for Kibloy. Comelec later learned that the Workers' and Peasants' Party has two factions. Garcia showed two documents each showing that Arias and Tolentino are the authorized signatories of Workers' and Peasants' Party, dividing it to two factions, namely Arias Wing and Tolentino Wing. Both claim that their factions are the legitimate Workers' and Peasants' Party. The Comelec shall decide whose wing will be the legitimate Workers' and Peasants' Party. Should the poll body rule against the Tolentino Wing, Kiboloy will run as an independent candidate and vice versa for bets of Arias Wing.